Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSI. In this video, we are going to discuss about dollar stable function. <clears throat> so this particular function uh, checks if a signal remains unchanged from the previous time step and the current time step. So the value uh, of a particular signal should be seen at the current evolution point and the previous evolution point. So if it is true, then it returns 1. So if the expression has changed, then it will return 0. So let us try to understand this with an example. So let us draw our clock. And this is our post edges of clock. Now let me draw my signal. So let's say this is my signal. Yes. So let's say this is my signal and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So again, uh, let's say the signal name is A. Okay. And this is my clock. Now, so let me write my sequence. Sequence, sequence underscore example. And this sequence is using, is evaluating at the positive of clock that is dollar stable we are using the function which is known as dollar stable of a okay and end sequence now so we are creating a property ppt and we are using this sequence underscore example and end property now we are going to assert this property assert property ppt now, so let's see let's see where this particular assertion is going going to get passed and where this particular assertion is going to get failed so here the assertion uh, at the first stage we don't know the previous value so that's why here the assertion is going to get failed now at the second clock edge your present value was equal to zero and the previous value was equal to zero. So that's why it is the value is stable. So that's why it is get, going to get passed. Okay. And at the third clock edge, again, I'm telling. So in the previous videos also uh, inform you. So we are not going to consider the values exactly at the post edge of the clock. We are going to sample the values before the post edge of the clock. Okay. So the value was equal to one and the second clock edge, the value was equal to zero. So there, uh, there is a transition. So that's why your assertion is going to get failed. And the fourth clock edge, your value was equal to zero. And the third clock edge, that is in the previous uh, evaluation point, it was equal to one. So here also your assertion is going to get failed. And at the fifth clock edge, the value at the current evaluation point, your value is one. And the fourth clock edge, that is the previous evaluation point, it was equal to zero. So there is a transition. So that's why it is going to get failed again. And at the sixth clock edge, at the current evaluation point, your value is equal to one. And the fifth clock edge, your current value uh, that is in the previous evaluation point your value is equal to 1 so there is no transition so that's why it is stable so your assertion is going to get passed and the seventh clock edge current evaluation point it is equal to 0 and previous evaluation point it was equal to 1 so that's why it is going to get failed and at the eighth clock edge the current at the current evaluation point it is equal to 0 and at the seventh clock edge that is in the previous evaluation point it was equal to 0 so there is a stability so that's why it is going to get passed Okay, and at the eighth, uh, ninth clock edge, it was equal to one, and at the eighth clock edge, it was equal to zero. So there is a transition, so that's why here it is going to fail. So these are the points where your assertion is going to get passed and your assertion is going to get failed. Okay, yes, so that's all for this session. So if you like this particular video, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, All About Realizing. Thank you.